Day two of our battle to climb Sahali Peak in North Cascades National Park is just beginning. It's 3 a.m. Doesn't matter how much of an adventure you're in store for, 3 a.m. is not a fun time to be awake. Coffee. Even though it's pitch black, we've got to start before dawn because the glaciers get slick and treacherous by lunchtime. Morning, guys. We're in rough shape. I haven't eaten enough, I haven't slept enough, and we're about to tackle the biggest challenge of our lives. To reach the summit, we're gonna have to climb another 3,000 feet across glaciers before we tackle the steep, jagged peak that will undoubtedly test Colton's fear of heights. We're excited about it, but at the same time, it's pretty daunting. Wow. You can finally see the sunrise. Oh my gosh, look down that this way. This is the first time we've actually gotten a clear view of what's actually around us. We can see our destination, it's right up there, but honestly, I think we're still a pretty good ways away, so let's get rolling, dude. Yeah. We're filling up our water. We have a pump and we have an iodine. Neither are gonna come into play here because we're drinking it right from the stream. That's awesome. That's good. That's really good. So cold, too. <laughs> yeah? It's great. <laughs> it was snow not very long ago, like this morning. Yeah. <laughs> We've reached the base of the Quien Sabe Glacier, a steep, giant chunk of ice nearly a mile wide that stands between us and the summit. We're taking out the pickaxes. We're putting on the crampons. Am I backwards right now? Yeah, you're a little backwards. OK. This is why you have Martin along. He uh, shows you how to do these things. We're finally geared up, and now Martin is roping us together. The reason we're using these ropes is because we're going on a glacier where there are uh, crevasses. What a crevasse is is basically just a giant hole in the glacier. And these crevasses, they go down anywhere from 200 to 300 to 400 feet. So you don't want to fall into one. That's why we're going to be roped up in case one of us falls in, the other ones can brace, catch them, pull them out, and get to safety. This is the definition of an adventure. This is one of those things where you have absolutely no idea what you're in store for until you actually do it. We're headed up this glacier, and I'm realizing how tough this is. I'm looking to my left, and I see a crevasse that goes down further than I can even see. I'm starting to really kind of rethink this. <laughs> yeah. But there's no turning back now. Sahali Peak beckons. Peak's getting closer. Looks like we've got a little more glacier to go across and then uh, a little rock. Uh, this, is, this is pretty intense. At this high altitude, there's less oxygen, and that makes us all short of breath. Our hearts are beating faster, and our packs are feeling heavier. Oh, and Colton is digging deep to conquer his fear of heights. I'm doing OK. Then we get to the final stretch. And we come up on this ridge. Amazing. What'd you say? Oh, man. And I peer over, and I see what is on the other side. And it is just this massive cliff that drops off thousands of feet. This is way steeper than I thought it was going to be. and. Uh... This is just insane. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. I'm incredibly nervous right now. I'm not feeling the best either right now. My legs are starting to wobble. I'm wondering, is he going to come with me? Am I going at this alone? What's going to happen? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just one step at a time. Exactly. Do you get many people doing this who are afraid of heights? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of people who are sort of like trying to overcome overcome that struggle against it a little bit. I guess that's good to know. It doesn't really help me out too much right now, but it's good to know. It's been done before. So basically, as long as I don't say anything, we're moving together. And when I say stop, don't move a little bit. Just like wait right there. That's the easy part. Stop it. <laughs> it's time to do this. We start heading up, and Martin's in front, Jack's in the middle, and I'm in back. And so every step that Jack and Martin take, 
I just try to step exactly where they're going. And the entire time up the first ridge, I don't look once at the cliff or anything else around me. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at only what's in front of me. We come up over the ridge and we get our first look at what the final stretch looks like. And it is sheer rock. And my heart drops. It starts to pound. I'm freaking out a little. This is insane. I'm looking up at this cliff, and I don't see how we're going to get up it. I have no clue if we're going to be able to make it to the summit. Now, how do we get up this? Jack and I are all of a sudden dangling on the side of this cliff. Sir, yeah, you, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go, man. As we're about to do this final stretch, I'm overcome with so many emotions. Oh, man. Where's my next handhold? Uh, okay. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Okay. Nicely uh -huh. done. I can't believe I've made it, but my climb's not complete until Colton joins me. <laughs> hold on, just hold on, dude. Step down in here. Woo! Oh my nice gosh. Nice job, dude. Woo! We oh did it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. The view up here is absolutely spectacular. That was the most insane thing I've ever I've ever done in my life. Easily. It's incredibly spiritual to overcome such a deep fear. It's hard to put into words. It's something where you got to test your own limits and you got to see it for yourself. Oh man, I could almost break down into tears right now because that was a big feat for me. Woo! Oh man, did it, dude. that was insane. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.